Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm gonna continue my long delayed fish shop crawl around Melbourne. We're gonna start off with Coburg Aquarium. Alright guys, thank you for joining me. This will be a multiple part series where I go through to the rest of the fish shops that I did not make it to a few months ago when I started this local fish shop crawl. Thankfully, our restrictions have eased and I'm able to get out to these stores and also some people's tanks. So I've got both of them coming up for you, including a little sneaky visit to a coral wholesaler for you to enjoy over the next few weeks. But uh, we're going to start things off with Coburg Aquarium. So let's roll the footage. All right, here we are, Coburg Aquarium is up in Melbourne's north in, uh, surprise, surprise, a suburb called Coburg. Now, they've got a handy little car park out the back, which is ensuring you get a park close to the door. So if you're picking up buckets of salt or an aquarium or, I don't know, maybe some rock work or something heavy, you don't have to uh, walk around the block trying to find your car. It's nice and close. Now, when you head into this store, straight away, you're greeted by a huge number of tanks. And it's one thing that flows throughout the store. There's a huge, huge range of dry goods here, particularly tanks. So if you are looking for a tank and you're not sure exactly what's going to meet your uh, needs or suit your house, it's not a bad place to go because you've got heaps of options to pick from. I love this uh, paludarium there. It looks absolutely gorgeous. There's something about the uh, plants with the fish just uh, always gets my interest. And I should also point out that uh, obviously they carry some fresh water as well, as you can tell by that gigantic fresh water display right in the middle of the store. But Coburg Aquarium also have a huge range of reptiles and reptile enclosures as well. You can see a little assortment of the tanks there. Inside here is the reptile room. I'm not a big fan of snakes despite living in Australia, so um, I'm gonna give that one a wide berth and uh, we'll check out some of these things like the insect enclosures, which are much more up my alley. Now, I do believe there are a couple of uh, marine tanks set up over here in amongst the huge diverse range of uh, tanks on display for you to check out, and here they are. So this one here looks like we've got a uh, little red sea tank here with a red sea reef LED light on it. Also has the red sea dosa. No, my apologies, the aquamedic dosa here, but it is dosing red sea supplements there so you can check that out pretty basic little tank here but it uh, does give you a good overview of their system next to that one there this looks like an older red sea tank and it's got uh, a pretty well established set of um, of livestock in here some fairly basic corals including some uh, monties and bits and pieces there some gorgeous juvenile purple tangs little harem of clowns and um just goes to show what you can achieve without a, a highly uh, intensive or a high maintenance tank now We'll make our way down to the uh, dry goods displays outside of the tanks because there is a huge range of equipment here beyond tanks. Once again, checking out that gigantic uh, freshwater display. And um, here we go. We've got a big uh, U-shaped sort of counter here. Got a good assortment of lights here from all sorts of different brands, including uh, Dymax and Aqua One. Uh, you can see AI, you can see Kessels there, um, all the different types of Kessels, all the different mounts, all the cables, all the dongles, everything one could want there, which um, is handy because, oh, they've got the controllers there, they've got the freshwater ones, Fuge ones. I know people have been looking for the Fuge lights. And of course, the full range of AI there. You can see some Zet light fixtures there. Um, both for uh, marine and freshwater. And then we come across into some Dymax accessories as well. You see some Siche pumps. And then when we come over this way on the counter, this has got to be the most diverse range of hang on back skimmers. We've got some dosing pumps here, I should say, before I get to it. We've got some really obscure skimmers here, which um, may not be bread and butter, but if you do have a fairly unique tank and you do have a strange fitment for a skimmer, you're going to find something suitable here. We've got a good assortment of dosing containers, some uh, alike those ones down there in the corner there, quite well priced as well. Some good uh, budget calcium reactors. And you can see some of these absolutely gorgeous freshwater systems here on the uh, counter. And what do you know, a nice little marine system as well with a couple of gorgeous scullies in there, pair of designer clowns. You can see a nice torch and elegance, all doing beautifully well. And then nice little leather out in the back corner. What a cool little system that is there. And um, when you look inside the counter, you'll find all sorts of bits and pieces as well. And these are the sort of things I love at local fish shops because they're sometimes the parts you don't know you need until you see them. Little airline fittings and um, uh, biospheres and things like that all just tucked away there in the counter. Over here, we've got some wave pumps from Siche, from uh, AI, from Ecotech. 
And then over here, we've got some of the uh, Red Sea range of supplements and their care program. You see some uh, CCAM items there as well. Um, there's some fresh tissue cultured plants there in the uh, cabinet. You can see some uh, Dino X and some other treatments and things there. But let's be honest, we came here to check out the uh, livestock. So let's head on through into the fish room where uh, there is quite a large selection in here. Obviously not just marines, but uh, that's where we're gonna focus our attentions. So we've got this huge central bank of uh, corals here, and then we've got fish systems all the way around. So let's have a look in these uh, coral systems first because there's a few absolute treasures in here. Some really nice goniaporas, some turbinaras. I can see some elegance there. Check out these nice torch colonies quite well priced. We got some uh, wild SBS colonies. Yeah, that's saying $35 Australian guys, which loosely translates to about $25 US for a colony. Pretty well priced corals there. We got some really nice little uh, aquacultured zoa frags there. So if you wanted to get some color in your tank, some really easy to keep corals. There's a good choice there. Check out this beautiful raster torch here. It's got uh, yellow tips, green tips, still on a brown stem, but beautiful. I love this modeled hammer here with the uh, ultra toxic green highlights on it. See some nice gold, oh sorry, reverse stem hammers back there. We've got um, some beautiful frog spawns too. And uh, this hammer up here has got a bit of a, uh, bit of a rainbow model through it, super nice. You can see a little sneak peek of one of the uh, big uh, carpet names there, but we'll get to those on the other side of the system. Got some more affordable uh, hammers here, some branching hammers. We've got some wall hammers. We've got some massive hammers. <laughs> All well priced, of course. And then over into the next system, we've got uh, some soft corals there. We've got uh, some Gorgonians, uh, some bubble corals. We've got some aquacultured frags. Uh, let's see, look like maybe some lepto, a little deshi there. Um, check out this Duncan up here, absolutely massive. The top down coral view is about to go for a swim if that uh, water keeps flowing on top of it. But we can see some more euphilia here, re reduced to clear. These pieces are absolutely massive and there's some uh, red mushrooms there, red rhodactus, green rhodactus, fluffy rhodactus going at about 30 bucks a polyp, which is not too bad at all. And come around the corner here, I can see some nice leather corals. You can see a beautiful clam sitting down the base of this tank here. Very, very nice indeed. I can see some uh, fungies and those little uh, dishes there with the sand. Um, some Xenia, which I know some expert reefists will uh, turn the nose up, but if you are beginning in the hobby, it's a pretty exciting coral to have and it's easy to keep, so why not? Over here, we've got some uh, Lobophilia, some Trachophilia, uh, potentially some Scully. Yes, some Scully there as well. Really nice colors on those pieces there. And then up the top here, we've got some acans hidden away by the uh, little baby blue tangs in there. Good assortment of acans there, different types. Very nice assortment of color. Some more uh, elegance and Duncans up the top there. Let's pop on down here. I can see some uh, different cellas, some Montes, uh, some SBS frags, some really nice uh, gold hammers there. Very nice uh, t colored heads on those. Some beautiful green tip torched at very affordable prices. I'm gonna assume that's per head because um, surely uh, 20 bucks for a torch doesn't seem right. It's gonna be 20 bucks per head, which is still dirt cheap. That $100 hammer there is an absolute beaut. I considered taking that home, but uh, I forgot all about it after seeing these NEMs, and you'll see why. This first one here, beautiful red NEM at $3,000. Come across to this one here, which I think is probably the steal of the bunch at $1,300. It's got splashes of green, but um, you forget everything, even your name, when you see this absolutely show-stopping ultra toxic export quality red carpet hedoni what a stunning piece you can see there the color against everything else in the tank it absolutely shines what a ripper now it doesn't just end there despite the fact that i did forget my name after seeing that nem there is a good assortment of fish here as well we've got some uh, clowns there, all well priced Come on down here, we've got a few more clowns. These tanks have got a lot of clowns and a lot of clown bred varieties. You can see some down here. It looks like we've got, uh, I think there's some mocha storms in there. Absolutely gorgeous markings on them. And we'll see what other kind of clowns and fish we can find. I see a nice uh, red lap leopard wrasse there. Not a lapard wrasse. Got some old glory gobies in there doing what they do, cleaning the substrate. And uh, if we have a look up here, we've got a few more clowns here. We've got uh, some black and white guys in there. Uh, looks like maybe just some uh, standard Ockies in there, perhaps. Come around to the uh, corner tank here. See some more clowns here. It looks like we've got some Picassos there. Gorgeous markings on them, even with some little uh, little gladiator helmet bits there. Some abalones. See some uh, hinge beak shrimp, I believe they are. 
down into the bottom system in the corners, bit of a uh, invert system. You can see some urchins, you can see some bubble tips. And then uh, what have we got? We've got some more fish still, yeah, nice. So we've got uh, some blue tangs, a huge assortment of them there. Massive Naso, you can see uh, Labuti Rass, see some uh, fox face or rabbit fish, I should say. Purple tangs, have a look down here. You've got a monster purple tang in there. Looks like some uh, blue eyed cardinals and a blue tang. A uh, nice little uh, angel, quite like that uh, angel with the uh, black spot, although I'm sure he is a coral destroyer. They always are. Got a uh, big harlequin tusk. We've got uh, some larger blue tangs, coral banded shrimp, scopaz tang. Absolutely gorgeous fish indeed. We've got some uh, more clowns in there. Check out the markings on that guy. A uh, peculiar Picasso. Yeah, I'd say he's something even more special than that. He's got some really cool markings to him. Up here, we've got that gorgeous little uh, puffers, some uh, purple tangs, blue tangs, uh, gold spot rabbits. Um, looks like a little uh, flame hawk down the bottom there, some Valentini puffers. And then up here, check out this beautiful uh, butterfly there. I know he's going to be a, a coral eater, but uh, check out the markings, that bright red face. Absolutely gorgeous. A little baby harlequin tusk in there is so cute to see. Uh, some more nice uh, angels. I can see some gold head sleeper gobies. A good assortment there. Now, whilst the marine section does end there, they've got a cold water, fresh water uh, section here, which um, I'll just give you a quick pan around because um, I know nothing about uh, the various species of goldfish, but they do have a good assortment there. You can see a huge range of live plants in the center of this section here. And then I believe the rest of the fish in here are your tropical freshwater fish. But again, please don't ask me any questions on them because all you will do is uh, get a uh, confusing answer and you will embarrass me. All right, guys, there you have it. That is stop one done on part two of my Melbourne local fish shop crawl. I'm so pleased to be able to bring the tours of these stores to you via YouTube. If you enjoy them, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, comments, feedback, anything like that at all, pop it in the comments section because I do personally reply to each and every one there. And of course, let me know which store around Melbourne you'd like me to visit next. I do have a few in the can already to go after the last weekend and I'm looking forward to editing them and bringing them to you over the next few weeks to come so um i think i'll wrap things up there guys till next time stay safe keep reefing cheers bye